Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm checking out the Zippo Minimalist Wallet. Let's check it out. All right, so the Zippo wallet comes in this brown cardboard box with the Zippo logo right on the front. And it's a pretty thin box, so nothing else on the sides. But when I flip it around, you can see right there, it says wallet made in India. And it says wallet plate made and decorated in USA. All right, that's about it. So let's break this bad boy open. All right, right here, it looks like we have just identification of what this wallet is. And then whatever the heck this is, I have no idea. Now let's take the Zippo wallet out of the box and let's get a nice close up look at this bad boy. So I had no idea that Zippo made wallets. I just thought they made lighters and matches and such. But when I was surfing the web looking for new wallets to show you guys, I just happened to stumble upon this thing. All right, so while you guys are checking this out, let's talk features. It comes in four different models, an ID window version, a cash strap version, a money clip version, and this one right here a minimalist version. And it's offered in two colors, black and mocha. This one that I have right here is mocha. And I'm sure you guys have noticed already this pretty distinctive engraved metal plate. So you have 10 different engraved metal plates to choose from. There's one with an anchor on it, a bass, a cross and wings, fandango, skull, spade, skull and spade, the one that I have right here, Viking, Zippo 1932, and Zippo Flame. Now this metal plate is one of the main reasons I wanted to pick this up because it was just so unique. I mean, check that out. That is awesome. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but if I hit the light just right, right there, you can see hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades etched in there. And then when I flip it this way, you can see that awesome skull and spade right there. How cool is that? Now the actual wallet itself is made from genuine leather, which isn't the highest quality leather you can get, but actually getting it in my hands and feeling the build quality, it actually feels pretty nice. Now the minimalist version here is just what you see here. It doesn't open up, doesn't have a bifold or anything like that. And it doesn't have any extra pockets on the top or the side, just these pockets that you see right here on the back. So you might think this is just a card holder, but this little slot right here is meant for cash. So that means we have three spots right here for your cards in this one pocket right here for your bills. And yes, because of this metal plate, it is RFID protected. Now you probably notice there's one more little slot right here, but this slot is used to take out that metal plate, which makes me wonder if you can buy these plates separately. I couldn't find anything on the website where you could buy these separately, but I'm pretty sure you can just to customize these wallets whichever way you want. All right, that's basically it for the features. So let's talk dimensions. So it measures in at 4.17 inches by 3.39 inches and is only 0.21 inches thick. And if I get in real close here, you can see this thing is super thin and it doesn't mention what it weighs on the website. So let's weigh it. All right, let's plop this bad boy on my scale. See what it says. All right, 1.4 ounces and that comes out to be 40 grams. So yeah, even with this metal plate in there, this thing is still extremely lightweight. So there's also no mention on the website of how many cards this thing can carry. So let's start testing that out. So I'm gonna start right here with these three card slots. So let's start out with three flat cards. All right, so there's three cards. And to tell you the truth, this feels extremely tight, but I haven't used this wallet yet. So it's still brand new. All right, now let's try three of the Ray's number demo cards and see if they'll even fit in here. So let's start with the top this time. Oh boy. Yeah, this is getting extremely tight. And let's get this last one in there, I hope. And okay, well, difficult, but I got six cards in there. And to tell you the truth, I don't think this thing can hold much more than that. Unless you want to skip putting cash right here in this slot, which I'm gonna try right now, but if you're not a cash carrier, you can possibly use this slot right here for more cards. So I have eight bills right here and I'm curious to see if I can get these eight bills in folded in half and definitely, but wow, is this thing tight. All right, let me lift it up a little bit. There we go. That did the trick, kinda. Well, <laughs> that's how much I can get the cash in. So actually what I'm gonna do right now is just take three of these cards out just to see if I can actually get those bills in 
a little easier. So right now I only have three cards in there, so let's leave this folded in half. And oh yeah, it's gonna go in much easier, but that's about as far as I can push down those bills right there, which I think that's perfectly fine. It just gives you a little bit of room to easily grab your bills if you need to. So how easy is it to get the cards out of here? Well, obviously this one on the top here is super easy to take out and push back in. And the one in the back here, not as easy, but still pretty accessible. But from my experience, what I found while it's of this style, that middle card right there is very hard to take out because look, you barely have room to grab that card at all. You almost have to take out that top card right there just to have access to that middle card. And this is only with three cards. So just imagine if I had six cards in there, two in each slot, because it was extremely tight, that middle section is almost inaccessible. And since we don't have any cash in there, let's see if we can stuff three more cards in there. And oh yeah, we can definitely get at least three more cards in that cash slot. And then I just put back those three raised number demo cards right there. So right now I have a total of nine cards in this wallet. And as you can see, it's getting pretty thick. All right, so let's just see how thick this wallet is now with nine cards in it. And it looks like it's uh, 0.5 inches. So obviously it's still not extremely thick. I've seen much worse, but if you're gonna be carrying nine cards around in a wallet like this, just be aware. And also if you have this wallet and you need to carry nine cards, there's just no more room for cash in here. And just because I know somebody's gonna ask if you can put cards in this little ID window right here. So absolutely you can. And you can see it's actually a pretty nice fit. There's a little bit of room on each side right there. Where you can see the metal sticking through, but if you absolutely need to, you can use this as an ID window. But as of right now, I'm just gonna stick to the traditional way. They probably want you to use this wallet. And I'm thinking they just intend on you putting three cards in here with your cash. So three cards, eight bills, go extremely minimalist. Yeah, there you go. So on the Zippo website, they're asking $34.95 for this minimalist wallet and $39.95 for the other three versions. So this is the least expensive of the four. But I picked this up on Amazon for like 31 bucks. So I'll leave links below to where I picked it up. It's a little bit cheaper than what they have on the Zippo website. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Zippo Minimalist wallet? So because I carry seven cards, this isn't necessarily a wallet for me, even though I am a fan of minimalist wallets and I think this metal plate is pretty badass. And like I said, I picked it up for around 31 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave links below in my description box if you guys wanna check these out. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!